Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back to No Mom Sanity. Today is Thursday, March the 14th, and it is another beautiful day outside today in San Antonio, Texas. So those of y'all that are in town, I hope that y'all get to enjoy this weather. Um, today's scripture is about love and loss, and then the two um, prayers that I got from Pinterest have a little bit to do with that, but they also have to do with um, not being where you were in the past and putting your trust in God and moving forward. Okay, so let's get started. Love is in the beauty of the soul. If you've been hurt by someone you love, it's possible that you're very wary of loving again. Will you face the loss of another relationship? You know maybe you will. There are no assurances in love as in life. But life without love is like a day without sunshine. Turn to God, whose love will never change, and ask him to help you to learn to love again. That's very powerful. I know that all of us have been hurt in a relationship um, of some sort, and it's very, very hard. It's very hard when you give your whole being, all your time, all your energy, all your trust, all your mind, you let that person see deep down who you are, only to have them break the trust or to crush your soul, and you feel devastated, and you feel like you just wanna crawl in this little pit and never get back up. And a lot of people say, you know what, I'm done. I'm not gonna do this again, I can't, I can't do it anymore. But the good news is that you can, and God's always there to pick you back up, and he's never gonna stop loving you. God is gonna love us just as much as today as he will as 50 years from now. Um, God's love never changes for us. And so no matter how much we mess up, no matter how much we do wrong, if we truly ask for forgiveness, he's always gonna love us and give us the strength that we need. Um, there's a song by Rascal Flatts called Bless the Broken Road, and my husband can't stand Rascal Flatts, but I love them. And a few years ago, it was interesting because he wrote the, those lyrics and a card to me. And the interesting fact is, is that song is so true. And it's kind of true to kind of a lot of people's relationships. You know, you go down these, these paths and you get broken and you get back up. And everything that has happened in my past and everything that has happened in his past, it led us to each other. And yes, when we got our hearts broken, we were devastated and we fell flat on our face and we were just like, oh, I can't do this anymore. I don't know that I can trust another person. I don't know that I can be with another person. And then it just ma it happened one day. So my encouragement to you is those that have gotten hurt by love, don't give up. It's going to happen for you. You're just on your journey to get to the right person. Um, today's prayers from Pinterest are, Dear Lord, today I pray for mental toughness. Give me a stable mind and renewed heart. God, thank you for not allowing me to become who I would have been if it was not left up to me. Now prepare me spiritually for a far greater experience that you have for me ahead. Amen. I like that because it's saying, you know, I'm not where I was a year ago. I'm not where I need to be by any means, but I'm enjoying the journey as I go. Um, a few years ago, I was not nearly spiritual as I am right now. You know, and we all backslide. You know, when I was growing up, I was in the church and I helped teach Bible study. I went to a Christian university and I was totally on fire for God. And th certain things happened and I just kind of, you know, slid down this, this pit. But now I'm back up. So it is kind of like a spiritual roller coaster. But the good news is, is you even if you're on that down part of the roller coaster, don't give up. You're, you're going to get back up and everything's going to be okay and we'll, we'll get through it. So, um, you know, I'm glad that I'm not where I was many years ago, and that's why I'm doing this for y'all today, is I hope that I can share um, some, some positivity with y'all, and I can share some thoughts with y'all that I found that can help y'all help y'all along that, that path that y'all need to be on. Um, Father in heaven, thank you for this new day. Thank you for the opportunity to begin again. I choose to press forward and keep believing for the dreams and desires you have placed in my heart. I trust you today with everything that I am. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, that's good because, like I said before, you just got to put your whole trust in God and you just give it to him and don't even think about it. So all my dreams and prayers, I just, I don't, I, I 
kind of think about them, but I just, I know that they're going to happen. And every day there's something new that I come up with that I want to pray for someone or something or, you know, I just bring everything to God. And so that's just showing me that to put my soul trust in him and to not rely on myself because Lord knows if I rely on myself, nothing's going to get accomplished. Um, and then the quote for today is, when you've done everything you can do, that's when God will step in and do the, what you can't do. I've said before that I watch Joyce Myers, and I really love Joyce Myers, and she always says all the time, you can't be like a couch potato sitting there just giving all your desires and hopes and dreams and requests to God and not doing anything. You do have a part. Everybody's part is different, however. God will put it in your soul what you need to do for the prayers that you ask him for. Now having that said, when you have done your part, that is when you're able to sit back and relax and know that God is gonna take care of the rest. Well, that's all I have for today and I hope y'all have a wonderful day and try and stay sane. See you tomorrow, bye.